Man, so even though his tumor has gotten smaller, <clears throat> I just want to go and lance it. Just, oh, a sharp razor blade, lance that thing. We know he survived. The neighbor kid, Hugh, found one half of his antler. Yeah, we need a new camera. This one's only 1080. And... All right, so now the does were all looking to the right. So maybe, and they're all getting a little skittish. Come on, what a big one! Come out of there. Setup is working perfectly right now. Perfect wind. Just need a big player. Like a decent buck in there. Just missed them. Dang it. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. So this is kind of about the circle of life in a lot of ways. If you've been with us, uh, you'd know that from our rural, rural home in southern Illinois, we could videotape many deer in our backyard, which I got a food plot back in there. Anyways, we've sold it now. So technically, these deer you're seeing right here are on the neighboring property. But we got a few opportunities to get some really nice video of the biggest buck that survived from the last season. So I'm going to bring that to you today as we, it's kind of, you know, melancholy, I guess. You know, the don't know what you got till it's gone kind of thing. I'm just going to put together some videos that we've been able to take from our home here and we've sold the land portion we're moving to missouri so we're hoping that we can replicate this in missouri now granted the home has different viewpoints in that in missouri anyways if you want to follow that i'll put a link in the description for channel 2.0 but just for today let's enjoy some deer some big bucks and the last of our food plot videos if you will from our southern illinois farm thanks a lot at the video and I thought well he's probably not quite big enough but looking at him now he looks freaking huge yeah we need a new camera this one's only 1080 I didn't realize that till today He's pretty. Wonder how his tumor's doing. All right, so I mentioned I wonder how his tumor is doing. So he had a tumor growing on the left side of his neck, if you will. Uh, this, th these current pictures on the left here are from I think New Year's Day, literally of 2024. He was back there again, and he had this huge tumor that was pretty grotesque. So. tumor that was pretty grotesque so let's go back to today's video and see how it's doing well Al was right he said he's gonna be in the house plot today
I guess it probably is a six. Man, so even though his tumor has gotten smaller, <clears throat> I just want to go and lance it. Just, oh, sharp razor blade, lance that thing. Anyways, we know he survived. The neighbor kid, Hugh, found one half of his antler in their field, and the other half is still out here somewhere. But what a beautiful, beautiful buck. He looks massively huge now. I looked at... Look, that's the other video and pictures, and he didn't look that big. Yeah, I could be out there right now. Well, would you have been back here at all? Or? I would have been in that bourbon because it's a west wind. That's where I'd have been. Fudge. Can you see his tumor? He was turning the other way the whole time. It looks like it's still there, but it might be smaller. Yeah. This video is better than the one when we had the door cracked open. That's what I posted today. I posted well, it. This one might be kind of even to see that. Well, maybe, but it looks this looks good. I know it always looks good on there. Well. Can you take a picture of that too? I and mean, I can go to Justin. Yeah, I got him. Is that a little six? No, I don't know. It looks like an eight pointer. Maybe he's not the big one. 